If you're new, my name is Lauren. This is going to be a Sunday reset video and Sundays can look different for everyone. They look different for me. I mostly stick to the same routine on a Sunday, but incorporating certain things to make me feel my best and prepare me for the work week ahead sometimes looks different each week. So it could be relaxing and not doing anything. It could be deep cleaning. It could be meal prepping, meal prepping a new recipe. It could be going out and going to brunch with my friends. It could be going shopping. Sundays and how you take care of yourself and make yourself feel good and do what you want to do just looks different for everyone. So this Sunday, I am focusing on making myself feel my best and that could also be like wearing a really cute outfit i'm actually comfortable today but that's no surprise i always dress really comfortable it's kind of cold outside it's in the 50s like the low 50s so i'm wearing a big sweatshirt and sweatpants and that's how i'm making myself feel good today yeah i'm gonna be meal prepping later i'm gonna be doing a really yummy meal prep recipe that I have shared before but I want to share again because it's so good and we're doing it again this week. I'm also trying a new meal prep for breakfast and yeah so I'm gonna just take you along on the day and how I'm making myself feel my best to kind of reset. I'm gonna be juicing and yeah just helping me feel my best for the week. So a couple weeks ago um I decided that I want to be a pajama set girly like I want to go to bed and wear a cute pajama set and feel put together and feel good going to sleep I know it's super silly but um, just one day I woke up and said you know what a future version of myself a future really happy version of myself wears PJ sets to bed so <laughs> I went on Amazon and I purchased a couple PJ sets that I wanted to share with you guys because this is one way that I am feeling good and I go to bed feeling good and I just feel put together. I usually wear like oversized sweatshirts to bed with like some boxer shorts and um, yeah, I just wanted to feel a little bit more put together. Don't get me wrong, I'm probably still gonna reach for sweatshirts and boxer shorts every now and again because sometimes that's just like what I want, but I really wanted to get some fun, comfortable PJ sets to make me feel good. So there's also a try on portion. If you guys are interested in seeing this on, I'll also list my sizes in each and they're all from Amazon. And some of them are just really soft, really comfortable, truly really nice. So first I'm gonna start off with sets that I already had in two other colors. This is a really soft, comfortable set to wear. So I bought two more colors. So I have four colors total. They're just really comfortable, super soft. So first is this like purplish grayish tank top and short set. The tank top is adjustable and it's like a V up back. And then the little shorts have ruffles on the bottoms. I feel like this PJ set really runs true to size. And I like how the straps are adjustable so you can kind of adjust it to like how low or how high you want it. That's really nice. So I got it in this like purplish grayish color. I also have it in navy blue and black. And then I also got it in white. So they all look the same. The white is, I mean it's not super see-through but it is pretty thin. So keep that in mind, but just looks the same. Little shorts with the ruffles on the bottom and then the tank top. The next two, so these look really different 
on the Amazon model and I wasn't expecting it to maybe like be the exact same but I thought it would be a little bit similar I know sometimes it's hit or miss with Amazon some of these PJ sets have like 25 different PJ sets and they're like different fabrics different patterns different designs so it's kind of hard to find a review for everything that's listed it if that makes sense so the first one i got is this um, blue floral pj shorts and tank top set this kind of runs a little bit smaller so i got a small it runs pretty small it looks really different on the model but the fabric is soft very soft and it's super comfortable and flattering and then i also got it in this pink and blue and white floral pattern as well so looks really different on the model if you guys click the link by the way these are always listed in my amazon storefront i made a whole pj section there i spent a couple hours updating my amazon storefront and i link it in every single video so if you forget about this video or you don't remember where i discussed the pj sets my amazon storefront is linked in every single video down below in the description box so got this one these are really affordable i think they were around 11 dollars. so very affordable pj set and they're soft but i did expect them to look a little bit different this one is i kept it because it's super cute on but it's not the softest fabric so keep that in mind it's a little yellow floral short they're very high-waisted short set with a long sleeve the floral pattern kind of reminds me of brandy melvo next are really soft and comfortable button up tops that are collared with little pockets and short sets these are super soft and comfortable i would say these run true to size um you can kind of base it off of the try on depending on what size you want to get i got this in a size small so I got it in white. It is see-through. The whites are very thin and kind of see-through, so keep that in mind. But I mean, again, you are just going to bed. And then I also got another color in that one. I got it in gray. Same thing, button up. These are short sleeve. I also saw a bunch that were long sleeve and pants too, but I do live in Florida. And since we are approaching spring and summer, I would like these and then i can always revisit when it gets cold again outside and then lastly i got this one this one's so soft really nice material it's the blue and white striped button up collared with a little pocket and then cute little shorts and the shorts are adjustable with an elastic band so those are the PJs that I got. I did want to mention in the beginning of this video, I was wearing the black version of this little set. If you can kind of tell in the beginning of this video, that's the PJ set that I was wearing with a robe from Target. And I'll link the robe from Target if it's still available. I have that robe in black and gray and I really like it. Super soft and comfortable and great to throw on once you get like up out of bed. So that's what I was wearing in the beginning was this set. I'm going to put all this stuff back in the closet and then I'm going to head to the grocery store, get all the ingredients and things for the meal preps that I'm going to be doing and prepping for the work week i have a ton of boxes that we need to take down to the dump as well so yeah just wanted to share hope you guys enjoyed i know it's like a little like switch up but pj sets are fun <laughs> I just got home from the grocery store and I'm going to start prepping my breakfast and my lunches and then um, juice later. But I wanted to share what I'm going to be bringing for breakfast this week. I've never had this before, so I'm not sure if it's good or not. But based on the opinions of others, a lot of people like it. So I'm going to try making chia seed pudding and see how it goes. So I just have these white chia seeds i honestly don't know the difference between the white and black chia seeds but this is what i had in my pantry 
I'm gonna put strawberries on top. I'm gonna do some honey and I'm gonna put them in the mason jars. I got some vanilla almond milk by the Malk brand for the liquid. And then I think I'm gonna put some unflavored collagen by 1UP Nutrition in there just for some extra protein and then the benefit of collagen. So I'm gonna prep this. You can keep this in the fridge for a week. So it's something perfect to prep for yourself for breakfast and you can prep it for seven days, which is pretty great, but I'm gonna prep it for five. So let's make it and get it ready for the work week. Okay, just finished prepping the chia seed pudding. I'm really excited. I just cut up all the strawberries that I'm gonna put on top and then I'll just add it each morning before I leave for work. But now I'm gonna prep lunch meal prep. So we're doing pasta salad. We did this a couple weeks ago and it was so good. I do the protein pasta and then I'm about to prep all the ingredients and christian so kindly just ran back to the store because i forgot red onion i don't know how i did but i forgot it so it's just red onion a bell pepper cucumber tomatoes mozzarella olives parsley and then salami and i double the recipe so i'll link the recipe down below it's really good keeps in the fridge for four days it's just a really yummy filling satisfying pasta salad so i'm gonna start prepping that now Okay, just finished meal prepping. It actually gave us an extra meal this week. I don't know how well it's gonna hold in the fridge for five days because I've only held it in the fridge for four, but we do have a fifth meal out of it, so that's really good. It definitely gives you enough food. So, I'm excited to have this this week for meal prep. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, run the dishwasher, and I'll probably juice in like an hour or so.
Okay. It's a lot later. Christian and I just took some of the boxes to the little dump in our apartment and we're about to head to dinner and we're meeting up with um, AP and his girlfriend Paige and we're going to Hawker's. It's Asian street food. It's really good if you've never been in Orlando. It's by Colonial and Mills and it's really good. So that's where we're going tonight for dinner. I feel like I just did a million and one things trying to prep for the week but I feel really good knowing that it's all done and I have breakfast and lunch and then we have juices for two days and we're good. So I'm excited about the chia seed pudding. I'll keep you guys updated on how it tastes. I'll also link all the recipes down below that I used for the chia seed pudding and um, the pasta salad. The chia seed pudding didn't, the recipe that I used didn't use collagen. I just decided to add that. So I really don't know how that's going to work in the chia seed pudding, if it will work. I hope it does. If not, I do have yogurt if the chia seed pudding does not work with the collagen. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm really hungry and excited for dinner. So I'll vlog a little bit at dinner and show you guys what 